Hello everybody, I'm Gonzal, and welcome back to the Living Realms. Last episode, we decided to finish installing the mine shaft, as well as getting a lot of the materials we'll need for future builds, as well as start working on a farm so we'll have a more sustainable source of food in the future. But now it is time to actually get down to things and actually start improving the village. First things first is that we're going to go collect more materials so we'll have more exotic resources and blocks to use to create the village, as well as starting to work out the outline for the rest of the village. Next we'll likely end up trying to find some villagers which will help increase the village productivity by giving us trades and of course lovely lovely emeralds down the line. And maybe towards the end of the episode we'll finally get a name for the village because that is something we've been lacking for all these episodes till now so I think that's something we need to change. But we, before we start I want to make sure you've hit that subscribe button down below. Doing so really helps me out a lot by letting YouTube know that you're enjoying my content and thus helps them to promote it so other people can see it through the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate it if you could just uh, tap that little button down there. Plan is to reach about 100 subscribers by the end of summer. So far we are pretty close to the goal so I want you all to help out, I would really appreciate it. But with that out of the way, let's get down to business. Alright, first things first, we have the farm, which has been producing quite a bit of bread actually. Uh, I'm still working on the fields and I'm kind of fixing the structure because it is still elevated land. I was thinking about flattening it, but I decided just letting it kind of flow down really adds a bit of texture to it and I feel like it's a good addition. Still gonna have to add a bit more material here and there and maybe make some scarecrows to cover up the water holes but that's uh that's something we'll take care of when it's time to decorate. But what we're going to be focusing on right now is actually doing a little bit of exploration because while we do have access to plenty of stones which we now have in our fully built sorting system. Well, not sorting system, but repository for all of our stone needs and things. Uh, what we do have uh, in desperate need of is wood and other materials because we have plenty of birch, plenty of oak, plenty of oak, but we don't have really any access to the other woods. So what I'm going to do is empty my inventory except for the essentials make some tools, and go out and gather some materials so we can have more available resources right around the corner. So first things first, that is also oh deep. But luckily that's uh, something we'll be taking care of later. So right now it looks like the sun is just rising, so we have plenty of time to get things rolling. Food in hand, axe in hand, Boat boarded. It is time to go forth. So we already saw that there were some materials down there, but not exactly what I was looking for. However, there are dark oak forests just around the corner here. So I'm going to go see if I can get myself some dark oak wood so we can at least have that pallet on hand. And then maybe see about setting up a temporary forest farm. That way we can have more of the materials on hand readily available. I may have gone a little farther than needed, but the results are still the same. We've got ourselves dark oak. So now I'm just going to chop up some of this, bring the saplings back with us. And I think that just leaves a few more saplings. So I need acacia, I need spruce, and jungle. Those are the ones I think I still need to get because I think I'm not, I don't think I'm overlooking any others other than the ones in the nether but uh, we'll take care of those once I find diamonds. So that is roughly two trees worth of dark oak, so that is plenty to get started. Now, ooh, Enoe, I think. Enoe. Ioni. Ionwai. Don't know the name, but it's a colorful bush that will probably work pretty well as a decoration, so I'm gonna hang on to it. Ooh. And actually, I just got lucky. There's a spruce forest right behind it. Okay, so now... <laughs> if I can find myself a... Uh... Oh. Nope. Yeah. 
What I was going to say is that uh, I would get pretty lucky if there was somehow a jungle right behind it. Ooh. Back. Get dark forests allow them to spawn a lot easier. Oh, it's a uh, the eucalyptus tree. Or uh, is it eucalyptus? Azalea. Oh, we got an azalea. What's this do? Ooh, very nice. So I can use this to plant and get a new sapling. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, if I remember correctly, that means down here, there's a lush cave. So that's something to keep note of. And ooh, berries. That's another thing to keep note of, because now, that's another addition to the fields. And I actually don't need a seed right now. That, no, I didn't destroy the seed. Okay. So, where do I go from here? Enter the spruce forest, but I still need jungle, mainly for jungle wood, and ooh, hello, what treasures do you got? Uh, ooh, not too shabby, I'd say, actually. Let's take some of those with us. Hold on. That is smoke. That means... There must be a village. I was right. There's a village. A village of peoples. Nice. Now let's see. What do they have going on in here? Definitely... Ooh. Definitely some funky things. Ooh, cartography. Nice, nice. Empty maps, bread. Probably take the bread. Take that with me. Cartography, okay. Definitely good ideas. Take those. Ah! Villagers! A good resource. Oh, are you all blacksmiths? Schoolsmiths, okay. You're a weaponsmith? You trade axes. You're an engine armor. Okay. Very, very tradesman like this village. I think. Ooh. Hello. Okay. This this looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I liked it. I like it. But I think I'm gonna take a note of this village because there are definitely villagers here that I can. Uh, bring back to the village so gonna put a bookmark on this area definitely and i guess right now i have plenty of resources still haven't found the jungle which is a bit of a disappointment but i can work on that later right now I, ooh, more little ones potato definitely use the potato Let's see if anyone's got a carrot. Oh. Okay, that is a lot of potatoes. Let's take all of that. Uh, pumpkin seeds don't need that, actually, so... Uh, anyone got a carrot, perhaps? Uh, you got some... Got some spruce logs. I'll take those. Um... Potato? Da oh. Well, uh, uh, don't mind if I do. Can I take those for myself? Um, you can have some sticks. So, uh, I feel like that's a good trade, and and a, a slight, slightly, just slightly used a uh, hoe. So what's in here? Ooh, saddle. I do need a saddle. I do need pants. Put those on. And it is getting dark, so I'm going to use my bed one last time. But with a saddle, we can now ride the horses that are spawning around our base. That is that is good. Good, good, good.
Well, that happened. That's how I feel after that little failure of a drop. But we are on the win because we now have new saplings, new foods, which we can make into produce, as well as a saddle, which actually is not that bad, all things considered, because now we can tame the horses and travel the land just a little easier. But for right now, I guess we should probably store that what we don't need in here. And I think, actually, when I'm thinking about it, on the way over, I think I spotted a sunken ship. So I'm actually going to go back with a lighter inventory, grab some torches, and see if I can actually go back and find that treasure chest because, well... I say treasure chest. There was a treasure. Not a treasure. There was a boat. And a sunken boat always has at least one chest. So hopefully I can get myself some goodies. I also lost my boat. That was not planned, but uh, I think it's midday. So I think I'm okay. At least for now. So I'm just going to hop in a boat. And I think it was that way. So hopefully, I've been saying hopefully a lot, but hopefully I uh, I find that sunken treasure ship again. Well, spending a few minutes more than I was uh, wanting to, I found it. It is mine. It is a chest. Come here. Okay, not really all that I was... Whoa. Nope. Going back down. Maybe. Let's see. This is likely just the dummy chest. There's probably another one somewhere. Oh, no. Water. Water. Sadly, that chest was actually all there was. Kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. I was expecting more. So I'm kind of on a treasure hunting spree, so we're gonna... Try and do that. Uh, anything in here? Just some maps. But a buried treasure map, so that actually will kind of play out in my favor. Where is it? There it is. Ooh. Hmm. I have to work on that one. Is there anything else in here? Iron, lapis, and emeralds. Not bad. Not bad, I'd say. It is dark. Probably need to find a piece of land to plop down a bed. Oh. There's magma blocks down there. But, uh... Yeah, let's let's pop down and see if we can maybe find where this treasure is. Ooh. Actually getting close to it. Nice. With only a few minor, uh... Uh, directions, I was able to successfully find it. And let's see what's inside. Hit. Ooh. Okay, got some crystals. Some gold. Plenty of iron. Some cooked cod. Water breathing and a heart of the sea. All pretty... Uh, kind of basic but decent treasure. Not gonna lie. Could have been a little... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Forgot it does that. Uh, okay. Gonna have to break the chest now. The overall, not terrible treasure. Uh, definitely could have been a little better, but for what I got, uh, it's fine. I already got two diamonds from the village, and oh, oh, oh. That's, uh, now this is, ooh. What caused this? What caused this to happen? Definitely wasn't me. Hmm. Huh. There may be magma cubes down here? Ah, yeah. Magma cubes. Looks like it got sunk. By what? I don't know. 
But all I know is that I am in danger, because that's a temple. If I get any closer, I'm likely uh, going to trigger the Guardian. So I'm just going to uh, take note. And uh, yeah, we're going to head back to the base so we can actually start working with the materials we've got. Surprisingly, it's not that far of a uh, distance from my place, so... Not sure if that's a pleasant surprise or a work. Uh, no, it's a pleasant surprise because now I can, I can probably set up like a farm later. But that's 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 a lot later down the line. But right now, we've got plenty of materials which I've um, I've uh, stored in the house. That's right. So right now, I think what I need to focus on is getting the saplings planted, getting the other materials sorted. And see about maybe adding a little bit of flair to the place, because that is a little dull. We definitely use some decorating. So first things first, place these down, make some space. And I'll catch you once I have a little more uh, resources. I think this is enough to get started. So first things first, though. I think it's time I finally get myself some proper armor. I know I have some pants somewhere in the chest, so I don't need to make that, but for now, we're now fully suited up, so now we'll be a little easier, or uh, it'll be a little harder to take us down in the future, as long as we don't fall down any more holes. That said though, I need to finish working on the fields, and I have an idea for the fields actually, but... I'm going to have to get some more stone from down in the mines. So that's going to be a project I'll do next. But right now, it's time to do some revamping. Because I'll admit, that house looks pretty decent in my opinion. But this one here, it just looks a little too basic for my tastes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revamp the whole structure. And give it a little bit of extra polish. So I'm going to place down some chests, deposit what I don't need in this one, and in this one, keep all of our woods. So first things first, let's see about adding a little extra color. And this is much nicer than what I had originally built. It is also a lot more spacious, spacious and accommodating. So now I have literally all the space I would ever need for the farm and I just gotta install some windows and do some interior decorating but uh right now let's work on the fields so we've got we've got some materials Ooh, I still need to finish this run strip because uh let's put it to about there but I still have to finish the fields and I'm thinking I'm going to use a bit of the cobblestone I still have left in my supplies and make a nice cobblestone... I guess would it be called a... I guess it would be a fence, technically. So we'll make a nice cobblestone fence that will be quite handy in keeping the mobs out of my fields, as well as making sure it's all kept nice and orderly. So I think that's going to be the next best thing to do. So right now, though... I need to expand the fields ever so slightly. So I'm going to grab some water, lay down the farmland, and I will be right back with you. And just like that, the wheat field has been built. Now, it's definitely going to take a little while to get all the crops growing, but we are still plentifully supplied with bread. So at least hunger is no longer going to be an issue of ours. So with that, we now have refurbished house, or farmhouse rather, refurbished farm. I think it's time that I actually put in place the start of the village so the best thing i think that will signify the village is putting up a nice village gatehouse and i'm thinking 
I'm thinking about right here would be a good place to set up the village gate. So, uh, we'll do three blocks wide, and I'm going to need to figure out how I want to build the uh, gatehouse. But while I'm building the gatehouse, I'm also going to be thinking of the name for the village. That way, we will finally have a place to call, or rather, what am I thinking? I'll rather, uh, what I meant to say is that I'll finally have a name to call our home. So I built a little guard tower, and I finally decided to name the place, and the name of the village is now... Welcome to Riverside Valley. That's right, Riverside Valley is going to be the name of our glorious little home, and I am so excited to get this project underway. But uh, I think... I think the next order of business will be to improve the farms, because while we do have the wheat, we still have to put the potatoes and the pumpkins into the fields as well, as well as build the rest of the wall and start building more and more structures, as well as actually venture deeper into the mines to get ourselves quite a bit of materials, because we have two diamonds to our name, but we'll need a lot more diamonds than that if we are to actually get anything done. And with that, I'm wrapping things up here. Make sure to leave a like down below with a comment if you wish, and make sure to hit that subscribe button as it really helps me out a lot. That said, I genuinely thank each and every one of you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and or night. I don't know what time it is for you. And I must bid you all adieu.